want to welcome you this morning to our Mount Movers Prayer. I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm going to be quick today because I know that this is the holiday and everybody is sharing it with family. So I just want to say good morning to you. This is Dr. Drew Williams. I'm one of the lead pastors of Abundant Life Church of God. And we're located at 7701 South Exchange in Chicago. Our morning services are at 10 a.m. So we want to thank you. So this month we've been talking about the heart of a warrior. And today I just want to take a quick look um, at what is, how do we keep watch over our hearts? And the scripture I'm coming from is Proverbs 4, 23. And it says, watch over your hearts with all diligence for from it flows the springs of life. And there are many things that cause us to find ourselves with um, heartbroken or discouraged or hopeless. And, and in the last few days, I have had several calls and have spoken with many individuals that are dealing with stress and and, and different things that are causing them to have this heavy burden on their heart. And, and we see that a, a lot during the holidays because people are missing loved ones and deaths that are happening around the holidays just seem to take a harder toll on us than any other time. And so today's scripture is just to remind us to keep watch over our heart. And what does that really mean? To watch something means you guard it, you look after it, um, you are mindful of the things that will shift your heart or shift your focus um, as it relates to the matters of your heart. And part of being watchful is being diligent. Um, it is being thorough and careful about your heart matters. So what does that really mean? If you've been hurt, if you've gone through um, different challenges, uh, if you are feeling heartbroken because of loss of loved ones, then it's a, we start by seeking to understand what those things are that have affected us in our heart area. What, what things have affected us in our emotion? What we, we start to ask questions. Does these things make me bitter? Does it make me withdraw? How am I dealing with those heart matters? And then we're mindful to seek God to heal those areas that have, that are, are broken in our lives. Um, so that we can then minister to uh, others and we can flow in our gifts the way he desires. And, you know, as I said, I've talked to many people that are depressed and feeling isolated and alone. And I see this spirit of heaviness attacking so many of God's people. And so several people have lost loved ones. And those memories are going to be difficult during those times, especially for those that are fresh. And I know there are several families that have just lost a loved one just in the last few days. And so I don't want to give you some cliche or some pat, you know, Christian phrase because that won't help you. It won't help you with the heaviness of the battle. It won't help you to understand those things that relates to your heart. And so I have another scripture I want to give to you. Psalms 147 and 3. It says, he healeth the broken in heart and binded up their wounds. So the, how do you deal with the heart matters? God is going to deal with that brokenness. He's the one that heals that brokenness. And his word tells us something really important. He says he heals the broken in heart. That means he knows that there are going to be times when situations and circumstances come that are going to be too heavy for us. That are going to make us be in those places where we feel isolated, alone, or wounded. But that's not a place for us to find shame, but we find victory in knowing that God will come and he will deal with those things. We just have to humble ourselves and be willing to admit, I'm broken and I need your help. Deuteronomy 11, 18 says, therefore shall you lay up with these my words in your heart and in your soul and bind them for a sign upon your hand and they may be a frontlet between your eyes. God's word is ready to seal that healing. His word is what we begin to use. His word, the things that he's declared in his word over us, the, the prophetic word that's been declared over us. Those are the things that we take and begin to allow them to be engrafted in our hearts so that we can, we can begin to see what it is that God has for us. And then we can begin to allow it to take, uh, take that hurt from us. And so again, this is the holidays and we're going into Thanksgiving. And I know even in this time that many not only are excited about seeing family, but there's those that, what about the person that doesn't have a family or they're broken from their family? What about the mother or the, whose child has died? What about the couple that has broken up and now this is your first holiday without that spouse or that loved one? So for everybody, this isn't a happy time. For everybody, this isn't a good time. But I just want to come and pray and encouragement over God's people and the people that are in these places of 
isolation. And I just want to remind us that, you know, God will bind up the brokenhearted. He will heal those places. Is it overnight? Not always, but he does. And then God can even do that. There are things I've, I've seen that. I mean, I just recently lost um, a very dear person, my spiritual mother, and I was going into a place of depression. But the Lord healed up, healed my heart. So not only did he heal the brokenness of the other things that was there, but he even took away that sorrow. So I think about her and I think about her with joy. There's no more pain there. There's no emotional memory of the hurt. And that's really what I'm going to pray today is that the Lord would handle and would heal even the emotional memories that we have. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. And you have even told us in a word that if we... We should watch over our heart with all diligence for it is from from it is where the flows of the spirit of life come. And so, Father, we're asking you to help us to be mindful. Help us not to allow those things to come in and to settle in. Yes, we face uh, things in life. Things bump up against us. We have difficulties. But, Lord, we're asking you to help us, to teach us through your word so that won't settle in, that it won't take root in our lives. So, Father, we're asking that even the root of bitterness and disappointment and loneliness and isolation, those things that have rooted in our heart, Father, we're asking you to give us the strength to do our part but we're asking you to root them out right now in the name of Jesus father we're asking that you would help us to be able to see who we are and whose we are and then we will find that we can have the strength to be able to continue to move father I'm praying lord that you would uh, heal those places of brokenness in the hearts of your people I'm asking God that you would help help us Lord to be able to stand strong so not only stand strong but Father that you we just need your healing we need the deliverance from that spirit of heaviness that tries to settle in and 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 pull us down and even have some in places of depression and suicidal thoughts Father we're asking that you would change our thoughts change our minds help us to put our minds on those things that are good and lovely and pure and of a good report help us to think on the right things help us Father even those that need relationship um, we're asking that you would bring us right relationships because nobody should needs want desires to be by themselves so father we ask that you would gird up your people that you would give them good friendships and um, godly friendships and relationships that they can build that would be healthy relationships um, and not needy we don't want to connect to people out of a neediness but father help us to be whole so that we can connect in the right way in relationships father we're asking you to deal with that heaviness of, of just even the emotional memories of the pain father i thank you that you can you are a healer because i know it not somebody didn't have to tell me but i experienced it for myself that you will even heal those emotional memories so father we ask you to go to the root of the root of hurt if somebody's rejected you or hurt father we're asking that you would heal and bind up those places lord for those that have had um had loss of loved ones father we ask you to keep the fond memories let them be able to remember the good things but lord we're asking you to heal up those places that when you get to these their birthdays and holidays and different times that were special where the enemy tries to bring back that heaviness and and that despair father we ask you to remove those emotional memories that cause that kind of pain father give us a new heart because father even we we know you bind up the broken heart of a father one thing i've noticed that you do you don't just repair and leave it damage you give us a new heart and father we thank you for giving your people new hearts new abilities new ways of loving that there's no more fear there's no more doubt that they can love without uh, inhibitions that they can be willing to be transparent and 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 give from their places so father i thank you for that and father i also pray lord that around this world around wherever we're people are celebrating and and coming together as families father i know we come and eat and 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 many things happen but father i just ask that even in you just do something in you unusual in in the hearts of your people that that the focus not just be on the eating and the drinking and the music playing and all of those things but father may i focus in our houses in our homes and our in our communities may we begin to really focus on you let our hearts and mind be um, turned to you let us begin to really make some decisions that we're going to really serve you I pray that you would allow this to be a time of reminiscing of what your goodness has been not just a reminiscing of, of families and fun but how you've blessed us what things have you done in our lives what things have you changed for us who what salvations have you brought so father we thank you that you would just even begin to help us to change our minds 
mindsets and our focus, even as families. So, Father, I thank you. I pray that um, even as we're coming into the season of the holidays of not only Thanksgiving, but as we prepare for Christmas, Father, let it be a time of your people and individuals coming to a place of realizing their need for you and in you. So, Father, we say thank you. Now, we ask you, God, to continue to guard our hearts up. Help us to keep watch over our hearts. Help us to be diligent about the things of God. Help us to be diligent about uh, seeking those things with help because you say you heal the brokenhearted and you bind up their wounds. So, Father, you are ready to heal those places in our lives that we need, whatever the situations or circumstances have been. So we thank you to know that we must come and humbly submit ourselves to you and your promise and faithful and true, and you will give to us the things that we need. So, God, I say thank you. Thank you for lives that are going to be changed. I thank you in advance for the things that are coming in the new year. I thank you for the salvation of loved ones and children and uh, young people that are going to just come in flocks to receive salvation. I thank you for gifts being um, activated in the lives of your people. I thank you for a greater manifestation of your spirit and your in the presence of our services. I thank you for your children and uh, men and women of God, uh, your leaders making greater decisions to be better stewards of their health, of their lives, of their finances. Father, because I know you are trying to prepare us for what is to come, for the great reveal, the great outpouring of your spirit. It's even here now, but that many of us have closed our eyes and we don't see it. But Father, open up our eyes so that we're able to see your presence. We're able to understand your presence. We're able to understand what you're even doing right now. So we thank you for it. Lord God, we give you the praise we give you the honor we thank you lord for you are worthy of all praise so continue to work on our hearts and our minds lord god continue to reveal the areas of our lives that need your healing because we want to be mindful of our hearts because we can't be warriors that are wounded and unable to um and fatigued so father we ask you to deal with the fatigue and the tiredness of your your warriors prepare us lord god to be strong soldiers able to stand and to do the things that you've called because we didn't come to fight against people flesh and blood that's not our enemy father we've come to be able to pray and fight on our knees to fight through the spirit and so father we thank you for that reminder in us so father we just say thank you we give you thanks we give you honor you are worthy of all the praise in jesus name we pray amen amen i just wanted to come on and just give you at least a little prayer for today. I didn't want to miss our Thursday prayers. Um, so I pray that you do have a good holiday. And again, for those that maybe you don't have someone there, my prayer for you is that you're still not alone. God still loves you. He's still with you. Even if you don't understand the challenge and, and, and the why you're by yourself right now, um, I just want you to know that God is for you and he is with you and that this situation, whatever it is, it will not last forever. I promise you that it does not last forever. It may feel like it, but it does not last forever. So I pray you have a good day. God bless.